Welcome to the eMotion LV1 video tutorials. Aux sends are used to send a channel signal to an auxiliary bus. These aux buses converge in aux channels, which are used for monitoring and effects processing. Any channel or group can be sent to up to 16 aux buses, 8 aux buses for monitoring, and 8 for effects processing. A channel's or bus's place in the signal flow determines whether or not it can be sent to aux channels. For example, Input channels and groups can be sent to auxes, since they're near the beginning of the signal flow. Mainouts, on the other hand, can't, since they're near the end of the chain. Choose between effects or monitor aux sends using these buttons. When used for monitoring, an aux channel is assigned directly to the mainouts, the matrix, or to an I.O. that feeds monitors. An aux effects channel can be assigned to mixer outputs in the same way, but it can also be sent to aux monitor channels. This means that processing done on one aux effects channel can be sent to several aux monitors. This is an easy and efficient way to use the same effects on several auxes. Each aux send has four source options. Select a source with this button. After input gain, before all processing. Pre-fader, after processing. Post-fader, after processing. And post-fader, after processing, post-panner. An aux send can be stereo or mono. This reflects the aux channel that the send is going to. To toggle an aux channel between mono and stereo, go to its channel page. Open the list panel in the input section. Click Add and choose Flip to Stereo from the drop down menu. You can also toggle between mono and stereo by clicking the input selectors at the top of an aux channel strip in the mixer window. The imaging control reflects this change. When finished, return to the channel that you're sending from. Aux sends have pan, balance, and rotation controls that work like those in the channel output section. Send a mono source to a stereo aux and you'll see a mono panner when the source is set to pre, input, or post fader. When post panner is selected, a stereo balance rotation control will appear. If the source is stereo, you'll see a stereo rotator no matter which source is selected. No panner is shown when the aux channel is mono. Learn more about panners in Lesson 3.7, Channel Outputs, and Lesson 4.5, Channel Strip Fader. The value box next to the source select usually displays the name of the aux channel. When an aux send fader is touched, its value is shown. Touch the panner and that value is displayed. This video introduced the aux section of the channel window. The 16 auxes are used for monitoring and processing, and all of them can be routed to mainouts, matrix, or directly to IOs. The effects auxes can also be sent to the monitor aux channels. In the next lesson, we'll learn about the output section of the channel window, where internal routing, outputs, and delay groups are assigned. Thanks for watching this eMotion LV1 video tutorial. See you next time.